Well, good evening, everybody. Dennis here from Canoe Hound Adventures. Uh, welcome to another edition of Canoe Hounds Outdoor Adventure Show. This is episode number 17. And as I said, I am your host, Dennis, also known as Canoe Hound. I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday so far, and I hope it's about to get a little bit better. We got a bit of a fun show going on today. Uh, took a little bit of a twist. We had a few twists and turns getting this show planned for everybody, but uh, nonetheless, we are here and we are all happy. Uh, I see that the uh, the chat is starting to fill up quite quickly, and I'm just going to say hello to a few people that I, uh, I can see in the chat here and get some people a little bit of uh, recognition. Uh, let's see here. First, I see Stai North is in the house, and we have Jesse Cox, Vince Negarth. How are you doing, guys? Thank you very much for coming in. Camper 69, Mr. Hap Wilson. Uh, Hap is supposed to be on panel tonight, but he's having uh, some internet issues. But if you would like to uh, chat with Hap, feel free to do so within the chat if you have any questions for him. We've got David Bain, who will be on panel tonight. Uh, let's see here. Kirk Whipper Voyager Center. How are you doing today? Thanks for popping in. Mr. Brian J. Uh, Adventures with Josie. Ride Paddle Repeat. Camper Christina, who's going to be on panel this evening as well. The other guy in the canoe, Tom Tessius. I hope I said that right, my friend. <laughs> we got uh, Marion Sontag. And let's see here. Yeah. Pray for Nate Adventure Show. Just want to welcome everybody to uh, this edition, and uh, just want to say that uh, Canoe, Hound, uh, Canoe Hounds Outdoor Adventure Show is a weekly live stream show that brings you closer to the great outdoors, and it's geared towards bringing you the hot topics and uh, YouTube creators that basically you enjoy and want. Uh, every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. till about 9 p.m., uh, we usually have a great topic up until eight o'clock, and after that, it's a general forum that opens up. So it's a, it's a great evening to be had by all. Uh, if you're able to take a moment, I ask that if you can, please try to share this uh, stream out in your social media feeds, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, even your community tab right here within the house, and uh, to build ourselves a better audience. Uh, just wanted to start by saying thank you to PJ Justison. Last week we had uh, PJ Justison on panel. Uh, he's the president of Friends of Tomogamy. And we had a fantastic show. We had a lot of discussions uh, regarding the issues that are going on in the Tomogamy region right now with the uh, Solus Wildlands and Wolf Lake areas. And I think we opened a few eyes, but more eyes need to be open to this topic. So if you weren't around last week and you... Uh, didn't get a chance to uh, to witness this show or to watch it, please do go back into my archives there and you'll see uh, the Friends of Tomogamy logo under the live uh, streams and, and give the show a watch. Uh, there were a few technical shows, uh, internet stream, but you'll get the, uh, the understanding of whether the Tomogamy issues are pertaining to you directly, which they probably are not, but depending where you're from, uh, there's issues like this going on all over North America. So it's a good opportunity for you to perhaps get on there and learn a little bit and maybe help chip in to be able to help try to rectify these issues. So please do uh, go ahead and uh, check that video out if you get the opportunity. Also, if you uh, have any uh, hot topics or any guests that you'd like to see me interview on any of these shows, please do let me know. Drop me an email at canoehound at gmail.com. And I'll do my best to get uh, the people you want to watch and uh, enjoy here on YouTube to be able to be a guest on the show. Uh, that's uh, I, I base, basically base everything off of what you guys would like to see, uh, along with a lot of things that I like to see as well. So these are, uh, these are just different things that you could do. Just drop me a line and I'll see what I can do for you. Quickly to go over the uh, schedule for the next couple of weeks. Uh, next week, next Tuesday, which is February the 4th, uh, we're going to have Mark Rubino uh, from the Rogers television show, Mark in the Park. Uh, he'll be a guest on the show. We're going to get to find out what's coming up with season two with that, uh, that show. And if you haven't already checked out Mark in the Park, do a YouTube search for him and watch some of the episodes from last year. Uh, I, I've really been enjoying the series, and I'm sure you would too if you're a canoeer at heart. Um, it's good times. So check him out. 
Uh, February the 11th, there will not be a show. Uh, my wife tells me I have to go on holidays. <laughs> so she uh, she's booked a holiday for us, and we're going to be basking in the sun uh, just a couple short days after I get back from winter camping. So I'm going to go from minus 25, hopefully, to plus 25 within a, a period of a day and a half. So that's going to be some fun times. But when I do get back, uh, the show will be back on February the 18th. And we've got a really, really popular uh, hammock camper, winter camper, fellow that goes by the name of Sean Emery. A lot of you might know him as Shug uh, on his popular YouTube channel, Shug Emery. So uh, be sure to put that on the calendar. That's February the 18th, and it's going to be a, a good time. Now, as you know, this show is interactive and your participation is more than welcome. So if you have any questions tonight pertaining to the topic or if you have any questions of our uh, our panel that we're going to have on, please do just put the word question in, in capital letters into the uh, the chat and then put your, your question. If I happen to miss it, because uh, it can happen, I'm a one-man show. If I do miss it, then basically repost it. I have no problem with that so that we can get your uh, your question taken care of. Uh, I know there's a lot of questions uh, going on right now. Camper69 is asking, will I see you at Mew Lake? Uh, if you're going to Mew Lake this weekend, there's a good chance you might run into me. Uh, I'll be a party of six guys. Look for the burgundy truck. That'll be me. And the other guy in the, <laughs> the, other guy in the canoe saying, woo, buddy. If anybody knows that saying, then you've watched Shug before. So all good. And I see Kevin Callen and Sassy Sandy in the uh, in the house. Anyways, let's get on with tonight's show. Uh, tonight I thought it'd be a great idea to, to discuss Canada's largest outdoor adventure show, which is pres presented by G Adventures. And it returns to the International Centre in Toronto on February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Uh, the Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show. This is a thrilling three-day event that offers a large selection of exhibits and interactive features that will help you get excited. Uh, the show is a must-attend for even the, for every uh, passionate outdoor adventurer who is ready to start planning and get outside. And yes, I am reading this, people. I am reading this. I haven't got that good of a memory. Uh, through the planning of this show, we run into a couple little snags where uh, we our, our guest that was supposed to be on could not make it. So uh, we pulled a few strings and we got a few great people for the panel tonight. And uh, one of the people that's gonna was asked to help be a spokesperson for this show for the camper Christina. So I'm gonna bring her up on panel and say hello. Hey, how you doing, Hi. Christina? I'm good. How are you doing yeah. tonight? I'm uh, I'm having a dandy time. <laughs> Just having a dandy time, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you're uh, you're going to be a presenter at this year's show. I understand. Uh yes, I'm speaking both Saturday and Sunday this year. I think someone just canceled or something. So um, I'm on the uh, Adventures in Paddling stage again at noon uh, on Saturday and at two fifteen on Sunday. That's awesome. So if anybody in the uh, chat is going to be going to that show. Uh, you'll want to get onto the Outdoor Adventure Show's website, and they have a full listing on there of uh, uh, guest speakers. Uh, they have several stages at, at this event where there's going to be different pre presentations going on at different times, and it kind of kind of bums me out because I, I know at one point there's two separate seminars that I want to check out, or, or you know, to be right at the same time. It's like <laughs> gonna have to pull myself apart for that one. Uh, but yeah, so Christine, I thought you and I can uh, just maybe talk a bit about uh, what to expect at the show, and then we have a people, a couple people in the uh, the basement here in the uh, green room, just uh, waiting to pop in too, who are actually other guest presenters at the show, and we can bring them yeah. on and they can tell us a little bit about what they're going to be speaking about at the show as well. So uh, I'll open up by saying uh, this bring their special guest appearance by none other than Survivor Man, Mr. Les, uh, Les Stroud. Right? That's, That's pretty yeah. exciting. Uh, he's speaking that on is Sunday, exciting. I believe. Yeah, and like how many people in this in this live stream here have never seen or watched an episode of Survivor Man? I think everybody has. I would think so. I mean, I, I know I have. I'm really excited to see him for that. 
Yeah. I, 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 more of a, than just a, a survivor man too. He's an entertainer as well. I believe he's a musician. Yeah. Is he not? He's a musician and uh, he's done a whole bunch of documentaries and TV shows and uh, he produces a lot of his own stuff. Uh, it's pretty interesting and uh, he films a lot of his own work and stuff like that. So really cool. I'm excited to hear what he's going to, what he's going to talk about. Yeah. And do you, you wouldn't happen to know what time he is uh, he's presenting, do you? I don't know if they've got it in my itinerary here. They, uh, they don't actually say, um, Lessons oh, actually, they do. He's, he's going to be on the, the Best of Canada stage, Adventure mm -hmm. stage, and uh, that'll be on Sunday at 1 p.m. So if anybody right. wants to uh, check out Les Stroud, Sunday at 1 p.m. on the Best of Canada Adventure stage. And that's so, the little room right when you come in to the right. There's a room where the, some of the presentations are, and then right. the rest is out on the Adventures and Paddling stage, which is out in the main area. So that's right, right when you walk in the front doors where you check your tickets. And yeah, you walk in right. and there's a door on the right there, and there's a room yep. there. Yep. Unfortunately, I won't be there on Sunday. I'll be there myself on Saturday. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. So, I was told um, that uh, there's going to be over 300 exhibitors at the show, which yeah. is pretty it's impressive. Uh, yeah. yeah the, the, this show, uh, if, you, if you check out my video from last year, you'll see just how big this show actually is. It'll take you a full day to get through because there's so many things to do, right? And mm -hmm. see. Yeah. Yeah, they have stuff for kids too. They have like a rock climbing wall. Um, so, you know, something to keep the bit kids busy. And I, I think they have a scavenger hunt every year as well, which is kind of neat. So they give the kids a little list and they have to go around to the different vendors and find things. So just something to keep them occupied as well while you're there. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so anyways, they're going to have over 300 exhibitors, everything from outdoor camping uh, to, or camp like camping on land stuff, all the way down to uh, paddling in remote bodies of water. You can actually plan adventures and trips there because they do have the uh, the travel area as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for all the, the latest and greatest in gear, uh, whether it's from the big manufacturers or for them people that are like us that build gear for people like us, you'll find all that stuff there as well. So it's going to be very well represented as far as uh, gear and demonstrations and, of course, great speakers like yourself. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Particular presentations and hear from seasoned adventure travelers as they share their incredible stories of the thrill of adventure and travel and international travels and the International Travel Theater. And that's almost like a segue. I think we should get our get our other guests up here too. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I was just going to mention about the pool. Um, yeah. They have a, a lot of paddling demos and stuff for paddleboarding, canoeing, and kayaking. And someone who has spent a lot of time in that pool um, is actually here tonight as well, Preston Sear. Yes. Um, and Nancy. So. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see them. Yeah, and they do a lot. They they do what? Whitewater demonstrations in there, paddle boarding, they do canoe and kayak demonstrations in there. So they're they're it's really neat. Yeah, and I think they have some activities for the kids as well. They have these big boats that all the kids can go in and paddle around and if they try to get everyone involved, which is nice, you know, it's something there's something there for everyone. Yeah, and I, I believe uh Mike Randall will probably be hanging around there too. I would think so. I saw him last year. Um, he's not presenting, but that doesn't mean he's not going to be there. Yeah, I think uh, I think Swift Canoes might bring him in as a uh, as a uh, so a, a person of experience. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, let's bring up a couple of our guests here that we have. Uh, you had already mentioned uh, Preston, so I'm going to introduce uh, Preston and Preston, somebody I just met uh, basically today. That's and right. he, uh, he's going to be a presenter at the show. And then I'm also going to bring up uh, somebody else that you people might be familiar with, and that's Mr. David Bain. How are you doing, gentlemen? Doing Very well, good. Yes. good, good stuff. So, uh, David, I know you and I have uh, spoke before, and we've met on occasion there, uh, most notably at the uh, Winter Camping Symposium. And you have another symposium coming up here in the near future, which is the, uh, the Ontario Backcountry Canoe Symposium. Man, I always trip my tongue over that one. I don't know why. It's just me. It's just me. Uh, yeah, what's in a name, you know? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, thanks very much for having me on a couple weeks ago there, and I'm happy to be back and talking about the Outdoor Adventure Show. Good to see Christina and Preston. Preston and I, uh, I think other than saying a quick hello, haven't seen each other in a while since he, uh, Nancy presented at uh, the symposium way back when. So it's good to see Nancy still in good health and uh, keeping you honest. Well, absolutely. Yeah, she's doing great. She's uh, she's 16 years old now. Wow. So, and uh, doesn't look it, doesn't act it, but uh, yeah. And we are she's talking good. about Nancy the dog, correct? That not is right. Okay. Here. <laughs> I'm bribing her treats. Just for those who might not be familiar, right? So. Yeah. 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 I'm bribing her with treats to stay with me. Uh, so far, it's worked. Um, but at any given moment, she may just go, okay, that's enough of this. I'm, I'm out of here. So, oh, that's my dog. She's down here in her beanbag chair. She's had enough already. Yeah. <laughs> Preston, remind me, I, am I correct that Nancy was a rescue from Hurricane Katrina or New Orleans or something? That's right. Yeah, both of those. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's what um, my first presentation will be about. Um, I'm going to go over Nancy's, um, Nancy's story, which I, I don't actually get that much of an opportunity to do up here in Canada. Um, usually, um, I'm presenting more on, um, you know, uh, where to travel, where to go, that, those kinds of things. So aside from when you and I, um, were doing that, uh, symposium, uh, way back when I haven't really had the chance to, to tell her story, but yeah, she was, um, she was a, um, in a shelter after Hurricane Katrina and spent a good year going from shelter to shelter to shelter and came back up here and she got adopted in Hamilton and became a canoe dog. I was going to say, and prior to meeting you, she hadn't really been in a canoe that we know of. No. And here wouldn't she is. <laughs> wouldn't have ever seen snow, would not have been out in rivers and things like that. Mm -hmm. She took to it very, very quickly. She loves it. She really does. Yeah, I, I can see why you just keep popping the treats in, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just here in the pool with you at the Outdoor Adventure Show is really cool because uh, I know a lot of people, you know, love to take their dogs with them. And, uh, and I think certainly when people saw Nancy and saw that you could have a dog that wasn't born into it, wasn't introduced to it as a puppy, was still able to... Uh, jump in and enjoy the canoe and, and get into the outdoors. I know that was yeah. pretty inspiring for folks. Well, again, I don't want to jump ahead, um, but uh, that's Saturday uh, for Nancy and I is going to be just that. In the morning, we're going to be on the, the adventures and paddling stage, talking about her history, how she became the famous canoe dog that she's become. And then in the afternoon, uh, I think it's 4.30, where the two of us will be in the pool um, and we'll be chatting about how to get your dog uh, introduced to um, paddling, um, and um, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, it usually is. Sometimes I have a, a few little knickknacks to throw into the audience, but it's a bit of a QA and a and uh, you get to see Nancy get treats sitting in a canoe, and a lot of people <laughs> really dig that. That's all right, and everybody loves a dog, so you'll draw a crowd for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And I think in, in the way that we've had presenters at the symposium talk about when is the right time to get your kids canoeing mm -hmm. or when is the right time to get your kids involved in winter camping, um, you know, you've been instrumental in sort of waving the flag out there as to when's the right time and how to get your, your dog uh, involved in canoeing. And I think that's a great service because, I mean, so many outdoors people are drawn to having dogs. And it would be a shame to see them left at home uh, because they weren't quite sure how to get them involved. And uh, so yeah. anything you can do along that line, I salute you because it certainly is a, uh, a great addition to any trip to have a dog along. I wish I had one. Uh, used to have a basset hound. Now he would sink like a stone. So I'm not sure it was really, he's really <laughs> would be the right dog to have a log out of canoe trip. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's great what you're doing there and Nancy and uh, it's, it's been good to see you over the years at the show in the pool because uh, I know she sure draws a crowd. Yeah. Uh, Mama Bear's backpack is asking me, asking what day is that? So you said you're Saturday at the pool? For yeah, the demo? Saturday at the pool, yeah. Okay. Um, and your, your other presentation I see here is at 3 p.m.? Uh, uh, I think they moved it to th uh, 2 15 actually. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they, that means they moved Brad Jennings up or back? I think we flipped. 
Okay. Okay. They fl they flipped. Right. They flipped. Okay. Yeah. So they they just haven't updated that on the uh, on the site. But then again, they got a couple weeks before the show, anyways, to uh, make any corrections. Uh, we were talking about that a little bit earlier, but uh, that'll come along. So you're at two fifteen on the adventures and paddling stage. And where, like you, any idea whereabouts in the hall that's located? Uh, I haven't seen the floor map this year, but generally it's like right in the middle. Um, it's it's a pretty popular kind of area. But if you head towards the canoes, you're going to the right place, and you'll see the the stages. Generally, you hear them before you'll see them. Right. And um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and usually the canoe mm -hmm. manufacturers surround uh, surround the area too. So if you see canoes, you're in the right area. Keep going. Excellent. Thanks for thanks for that question there, uh, Mama Bear's pack backpack is uh, Karen is uh, Daniel around is, by any chance? I haven't seen him in the chat here yet. Just uh, just curious. Uh, let's see here. Um, so David hasn't uh, talked about what he's talking about. I was just gonna say, David, you're you're <laughs> presenting as well. Um, what's uh, what's the topic and uh, what time and what stage are you going to be on? I get to start Saturday off uh, on the Adventures in Paddling stage, uh, so 10.30 Saturday morning, uh, kick off the show, the presentations uh, on that stage. And uh, I'm going to revisit a topic I, I spoke about a couple of years ago because I think it's it like uh, Preston sort of uh, doing a bit of a giving back. Um, Christina actually was one of the people who was – rather instrumental in getting me sort of stoked about trying solo canoeing out. Um, mm -hmm. She uh, came to the symposium a few years ago and, and spoke about her first trip in Algonquin, but then subsequently she started posting a lot of uh, social media stuff about solo canoeing. And uh, I thought, you know, that, that sounds like something I'd really like to try. And I went out and over the last four years, I've, I've uh, been fortunate enough to be able to do uh, some of it. And now that I'm retired, I've been doing a fair bit of it. And um, so I'm going to be speaking about how to get involved in solo canoeing as a, as a newbie, either a newbie to canoeing or a newbie to going out solo. There's a lot of questions that come up over and over again. You know, the, the common ones, the common fears, the common uh, things that everybody thinks about right away. Like if I'm by myself, uh, what happens if I, have a, an emergency, where should I go? Uh, and I, I just uh, try and walk them through sort of from my own experience and things I've heard from other folks like Christina. And uh, and and then I end my presentation with five or six uh, recommendations as to places you can try your first solo trip. Because I think uh, the thing that I really want to encourage people to do is to to make sure your first trip is a good one so that you're going to want to do it again. Um, so I, I personally think one of the important things is to, to pick the right lakes, to pick the right area to go. Uh, there are concerns that your family may have about you keeping in touch. And so having cell phone contact might be important and things like that. So just going over that kind of thing. And, uh, what do you do when you start to get the heebie jeebies, you're out there by yourself and it's getting dark the first night and, uh, uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, we, we try and have some fun with it and just recommend some places to, to go if you want to try solo canoeing for the first time. That's awesome. So there's uh there, there's so much going on at this show. We, we don't want to give too much away because we want actually everybody in the, uh, the chat to come out and actually watch your presentation. Right. So uh, yeah. Hopefully, it, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, Christina packs them in. I've walked past her presentations and, <laughs> You know, it's standing room. Just because I give away free stuff. Well, <laughs> whatever works. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have, uh, you know, some good crowds. And, uh, you know, I see when Preston's in the pool, people are three or four deep around there. So, I mean, uh, there's lots of folks at the show. And uh, it's always good to uh, to meet people and, and, you know, have a good crowd of enthusiastic people uh I'm just reading here. Somebody's got a question about posting any resources from your talk anywhere. Um, yeah, that's something. I don't know. Christina's the one. There. There we go. <laughs> Christina's the one who I would just, I strongly recommend you check out uh, Jenica. Check out uh, Camper Christina's YouTube uh, channel. She has a wealth of solo canoeing stuff. 
that you can check out. Uh, in terms of the actual location, she's done, I think, several of them that I'm going to speak about. And Kevin Callan was one who gave me some tips as to places to go. Um, but in terms of uh, putting it up somewhere, I don't have a YouTube channel or any of that kind of social media stuff. So I'd have to sort of figure out how to get those things out there. But it's a good suggestion. Thanks. Yeah. So, Christina, what? T give everybody once again what you're going to be talking about and uh, what stage you're going to be on. Uh, I'm on the paddling in the paddling adventure stage. Paddling adventure. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> paddling adventures adventures radio. Yeah. <laughs> adventures and paddling stage. Uh, Saturday at noon and Sunday at two fifteen. I'm doing the same presentation both days. I'm not so fancy like Preston. I can't do two. I'm just that's too much. But um, I'm talking about exploring tomogamy. So um, I have done uh, about eight or nine trips to tomogamy that I'm actually going to be covering a little bit of all of them. Um, I've got a, a big map, and it's going to kind of zoom in on the different areas that I've been to, and kind of you know this is a you know this is a trip where you might go if you're a first timer doing a solo trip kind of thing, and uh, you know this is you know five or six days. This one's really hard. This one's you know. Uh, watch out for this portage, stuff like that. Um, hopefully people will like it. And uh, my awesome sponsors, Keen, uh, has donated a pair of footwear for each day to give away. Um, I'm also giving away some Purinize uh, water. They do like water purification drops. And um, Keen has also given me some compasses. And uh, I believe Fontenac Outfitters, who I'm an ambassador for, has given me a couple prizes too. So should be pretty good. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to listen about tomorrow, you can just come and get something free maybe. And <laughs> yeah, gee, you're, you're, you're going to rival uh, Kevin Keller for giveaways, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. You need the T-shirt cannon so you can fire off some shirts into the crowd, you know? Wow. Oh, yeah, and some headliners from I Love the Backcountry line, wherever that is over there. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Really it's, uh, it's going to be a good time for sure. Uh, we do have uh, a couple people actually in the chat that are also going to be presenters that uh, were invited. But like I say, Hap had a, a, a has a bit of a uh, an internet issue. So he's in the chat oh, participating here. But uh, Hap, if you could please put down your schedule and uh, what time and what stage you're going to be on, and I could post that on the screen here so everybody can maybe uh, take a note of that. And then uh, I see uh, Kevin Callan still lurking in the background there, so if he uh, if he wants to uh, pop in as well at some point, he's got the link to uh, to join us because I believe Kevin's doing a couple of presentations at the show. Yeah, yeah. I think he's doing three actually. Three? I think he's got one Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think. There you go. Am I wrong? I could be oh, wrong. Oh, we all know what Kevin's doing that weekend. <laughs> ah, Vince Negar, thank you very much for the chat. Much appreciated. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so where are we here? Uh, so besides the presentations that are going to be going on, as I mentioned, there's going to be like 300 different exhibitors. Everything from the uh, the travel the travel section where you can uh, you know you can book whitewater rafting you can book trips abroad uh, trips in Canada mountaineering all, all different things I'm not exactly sh sure who's uh, who's going to be participating there because this show is more geared towards you know this whole paddling and uh, outdoor adventuring type of thing well I guess that's all outdoor adventuring but uh, all mm -hmm. kinds of things so you're going to want to bring a couple different things with you to this show. And I could say this through experience because last year it cost me dearly. Last year I went to the show and I walked out of there with a swift canoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I'm not doing this year, I'm not bringing my credit card. I already told the wife, I'm going to go there just enough money to, to buy a couple small things, but I'm not, I'm not spending another four grand on the canoe. So, but it, you're going to find your best deals probably at this show for, for all these things. I know on my Swift canoe, I saved a few hundred bucks by buying it at the show. Uh, you know, you're going to find manufacturers of different products there. So you're going to have a good opportunity to buy them there. And the best part of that is if you're there and you're buying products off the actual manufacturers, if you have questions about the products and, or, or whatever it is, whether you're planning a trip or buying a product, you're going to get the information right out of the horse's mouth, so to say. You know, if you have questions about that product, they're there to answer these, these questions. So the opportunity is there. So 
bring your checkbooks, bring your credit cards, bring your grandmother's bankroll, whatever it is. <laughs> Come on out and spend some money, right? Oh, hey, that's what it's all about, right? Uh, at least to me it is. I go there, I'm like a kid in a candy store, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I walked out of there with some down sleeping bags last year, so that, that wasn't a cheap visit, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's hard not to, you know. You go there and you see them, and especially if you can uh, take advantage of the deals that are going to be taking place, right? So, uh, you know, do it, do it. Uh, like I say, there's something for everybody there too. You're going to have, uh, if you're bringing the kitties along with you, Christina mentioned that they have a big rock climbing wall that's going to be set up there. I believe they also have some sort of a uh, scavenger hunt that, uh, for the kids to do, uh, kids mm -hmm. win prizes and what better way to get them going, uh, at an adventure show and learning about adventure than to, uh, bring them to the show and cut them loose. Right. <laughs> right. Start them young. Right? We want, we want the kids to take care of our forests and stuff like that, right? They, they've got to love it if if they're going to protect it one day when, you know, it's past our time, right? <laughs> oh, crap. Well, who's this <laughs> handsome gentleman? See, everybody, look, look at the crowd we got here. All these people are going to be presenting at the show. Me, I'm just going to be toting around. I'm going to be all starstruck walking around, getting to meet all these fantastic people. But uh, and yeah, Kevin. it's going to be a great show. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, hey. Hap, where are you? Hap, <laughs> Hap. Oh uh, dear. I don't know if he can hear you or not. Oh, before we go any farther, uh, we've got uh, somebody in the chat. I understand is having a birthday today. Oh. Daniel Maylot, happy birthday to you, my friend. Happy birthday, happy Daniel. Birthday. Yeah. Good to see another 29 year old here on uh, in the chat. So happy birthday, my friend. That's good stuff. Kevin, in the house. what are you going to be doing at the show? Uh, <laughs> what's even funnier is uh, uh, Christine, uh, a girlfriend. Um, she decided in 2020 that she would not buy anything except when she goes to the Toronto show. <laughs> <laughs> it could be dangerous. It, yeah. yeah. Remember that, was it two years ago, there was a uh, prune juice stuff? Remember that? It was good. No. Yeah. No. Okay. There, there was, I didn't know it because I I'll run around the show, whatever, but she came back with this prune honey stuff for tea. Hmm. Well, Remember that? No. Was popcorn last year. That was good. Yeah. And, well, you and your popcorn, you have a problem, man. <laughs> I remember we were drinking Sean's whiskey, or oh wait, that was from oh whiskey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in the morning. That's that was right. before the show started. Yeah. Like Nine thirty. No, no, actually, uh, actually, uh, David Bain started that. We were drinking uh, in the morning. Hey, do not accuse me. I was there, but I did not start anything. I am innocent. <laughs> oh, it was that girl, your teacher friend. Yeah, Bonnie. Yeah, and that, yeah, yeah. So, so glad she, she. So she had, she got cancer, and she went through. Uh, chemotherapy and then she's getting her well it's not getting her hair back yet but yeah it was so glad to share that moment with her before all that stuff happened so i you know it's funny i was watching the video just last night of of our last misadventure at the toronto show and just watching how things uh you know, change right so yeah hope bonnie's doing really well oh there he is <laughs> oh my god yourself there, Sean. How you doing tonight, my friend? Not too bad. I heard whiskey and Kevin Callen. Yes. We were talking about that morning where you brought the stuff back from Kenyukopi or whatever. Oh, the, uh, oh, the, no, right. that was Kevin Callen's whiskey that I smuggled across the border from the Quiet Adventure Symposium. You know, Sean, don't be jealous. If people randomly give me bottles of whiskey and I don't know what to do with them, so I give you it to you to smuggle across the border. That's that's yeah. that's what we do at these shows. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is what we should talk about tonight. What happens behind the scenes of these shows? Well, we can give people a tidbit of that. After all, that's what we're here for, right? All right. I don't think you <laughs> could. I don't know if you want to give. I'm not sure that's what Lisa story. meant. Yeah, but let's let's take care of the meat and potatoes first, though. Well, first of all, no, no. David Bain almost threw up last year. What? Well, yeah, I went and interviewed you, and you're so nervous you're going to vomit in a bucket. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't you. Sorry. It wasn't me. <laughs> well, sorry, David. It was Preston. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sure it wasn't Nancy? 
No, Nancy was fine. Okay. Uh, no, it was Preston. You actually were so nervous you were about to throw it in a bucket. <laughs> so we got an interesting question here, and I, I kind of almost wondered about this and kind of know the answer, but do you guys choose your own topics? Yes. Yep. Or, or are they suggested to you by the organizers? I choose my own. Yeah. Kevin yeah. comes from his parole officer, but I think the rest of us choose our own. Yeah. <laughs> No, you know, uh, you want to know the whole thing about the shows. Uh, the Toronto show, you have to apply to speak. You, you, you're not asked to speak there. You apply to speak there, and you give them topics, and then they choose whether they want you to speak or not. And that and might you don't get paid anything. No. No. What? We're all speaking for free. I pay them. I pay them to let me speak. So I don't know. You about guys don't get paid for this gig. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Millions of dollars aren't supposed to tell. <laughs> uh, what? They only gave me a free hotel room. You get a free hotel? Seriously? Wow. For staying over. Did you get the complimentary two for a beer as well, Preston? No. No, I didn't hear about that. Rock <laughs> Green booked the hotel. What the fuck? Preston? There, can you guys see him? I, I I've got to beg the guy for, for popcorn. I don't think mm -hmm. they're handing me. I got beer. a tote bag last year. <laughs> At the door? Yeah. I was allowed in. And so, yeah. I so got a name yeah. yeah. Hap is saying the same thing. You, you, you get to choose, but the show yeah. scrutinizes them first just to make sure. Right? If, Hap, yeah. if Hap can get in, I'll, I'll leave to get Hap in. Because he's got a lot of uh, uh, stuff to add to this. So, Hap, can you do this? Oh. Uh, oh, oh, I, I will. Well, hopefully I will. What's well, that new book? It's um, it's a rewrite of the Paller's Guide to Algonquin through Firefly Boston Mills Press. Uh, it's the fourth edition. Uh, there's 10 new routes. So I'll be talking about that on Saturday. Uh, oh, Sean, I just noticed that today. What? I'm talking when you're presenting. Oh, you poor bastard. When? <laughs> Where? <laughs> when? When? <laughs> At 12.45. I'm speaking in the big theater. Really? Yes. Am I'm I? speaking out in the open where my fans can see me. Well, I'm not allowed to speak in the other theater because I was too loud. I was, I was down last year. Mm -hmm. that, that's another story. That do you guys remember? You? Do you guys remember the last time Les Stroud was at the outdoor show? Oh God, yeah. Didn't he play uh, music? He they they had both rooms open that that year. Like that was back when both of those big rooms were open, and Les. Stroud, the Survivor Man, was in the big room, and or the bigger room, and Kevin Callum was in the big room. And it was funny because both of those places got pretty crowded, but um, uh, you know everyone assumed that everyone would be at the Survivor Man show, but there was yeah. a lot of us in the Kevin Callum show. And uh, I forget now who the announcer was. Uh, I don't know, but we all we all kind of agreed that we'd make a whole bunch of noise to make oh, it seem like that didn't left go out, well, Preston. That did not go well, Preston. Okay. I thought it went well. It went well. It, it, it did not go well. I because you got me going because I'm a little hyper and I got everybody woo! Yep. And, and actually it wasn't Survivor Man. Les Stroud, he's a good guy. I know him. Yeah, oh yeah, he years, is. But it, it it was his 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 worker guy yeah, yeah. came and said, shut it down. I went, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, to, and I, and to, for uh, Lestro's credit, the next day he sent me notes said, you know, Hey, that was cool. No problem. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, you started it, man. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's regardless of, of the after effects, it was a, a nice gesture for, for everyone that was there. There, the, everyone was was well intended, right? Like they all wanted to, wanted to show some so, show some love, so to speak. So, yeah, yeah. The, the show has been going through different things. Like when, when they started, the remember the times. Uh, I think David Bain, uh, you remember that time when they moved the theater out to the the venue people, the yeah. venue people, right? And yeah, I get it because they're show people. They have to make money, and it's it's to get people out. Uh, roaming around but then remember the time where they had the zip line oh yeah, yeah. Bob wilson you got a comment on this you know exactly what i'm talking about we were presenting to uh -huh. people while the zip line people were going over our heads I remember uh, it well yeah yeah 
Yeah. I was talking about the Nahani River and every two minutes some guy'd come flying over on a zip line and yeah. 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 Exciting. Yeah. No, and, and I would get the comment like, you know, hey, you know, Kevin, can you keep it down while you're presenting? Uh, we need to sell things around here. I was like, no. that, that's impossible to, to, to tell Kevin Cowan to be quiet. Like, that doesn't, that's impossible. Yeah. Not this lifetime. Yeah. That, that's like <laughs> telling Kevin not to puke in a bucket. Like, that's impossible. Like, <laughs> where, where is this coming from? <laughs> Anyways, to get With back on track, track again. <laughs> so, 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 what are Kevin, you uh, you're presenting at uh, what three different stages or three different presentations over the weekend? No, Sean's only presenting once, and it's during my presentation. No, 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 you, Kevin. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yes. oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sean. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I, I, I'm only doing two. I'll be there all three days. Um, I think the thing that really kind of drives me crazy though is the same weekend as the. Uh, Canoe Symposium in the Wilderness Canoe Symposium in Toronto. Mm. God has changed yeah. that. Like, yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. Gotta change that because because I I haven't it, gone. It's, it's crazy. I haven't gone to the Wilderness Symposium in four or five years, and that was my thing I did every winter, and I can't. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, for good reason. I love the Toronto show. So, uh, but yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, I'm do I'm I'm there Friday. Uh, I'm speaking on Saturday on the, the uh, best of a Gonkin roots. Um, a whole bunch of brand new roots I put into on Sunday. I'm really excited about Sunday because it's my first time presenting on my trip I did last year uh, on the uh, trip uh, across uh, the central Ontario. And I oh. just, yeah, I, I just presented together. Yeah. You, and you paddled up to like an hour. <laughs> Before, you by accident. The there's a camera Christine. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm doing that on Sunday, and uh, my my girlfriend's shopping. Um, we, we'll get the hotel, and you guys are getting a hotel for free. I I didn't. I I <laughs> paid for that, so I'm not sure what the hell what's wrong with that. It's just a small suite. But they know you have a utility vehicle, Kevin. You get to sleep in the back seat. All right, I, I put my hot tent out in the parking lot. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and awesome. then, well, so, besides your presentations, though, where where can people find you? Uh, at, at, Tim, you? at Tim's booth. Um, so uh, uh, Canadian Outdoor Equipment. Tim is my buddy. Uh, basically, again, like it's not a promo thing. He's my buddy, and he, I, I I say to him, I need to stand somewhere, and he goes, Yeah, I stand by my booth. So uh, that's where I'll be. And uh, yeah, and. Preston, where will you be vomiting? Wherever they let me, apparently. <laughs> well, you're doing you're doing a pool demo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's probably the best uh, the best spot to do that. But yeah, um, otherwise the paddle adventure stage. Okay, really okay, okay. And you also are presenting as well, right? Yep, yep. I'm actually uh, I'm gonna um, um, plug something else too if you if you guys don't mind since I have the the, the com um, uh, uh, we we talked earlier about when we were organizing this um, this chat about the memories that we had about um, uh, about the outdoor show and previewing the outdoor show and what I've been doing the last few years with um, with a videographer uh, who runs the Wild Canoes um, uh, blog and and um, Facebook channel and that is we actually attend the show on Friday and we walk around doing live videos, um, just uh, introducing like presenters like yourselves and um, other, um, some of the shops and, and whatever is on available for the show, just to kind of give people a taste of what they can expect uh, um, if they show up later. So watch for that uh, on um, Wild Canoe's Facebook channel or Portageur's uh, Facebook channel. That's cool. It's cool. And, yeah. and, and Sean, uh, you're doing something really unique. What is the title again? Like, is it time to change the definition of adventure? Nice. What time to that? redefine adventure? What is that? Because I looked at the title and I went, "What is he doing? Like, what's going on with that man?" Well, if you come and watch my presentation, Kevin. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm presenting. Not a boy. Leave some mystery to it, right? Leave some mystery to it. <laughs> Well, no, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a little, a little tidbit, Kevin, because you know I'm feeling sort. Well, wait, you can come and see me down in, in Michigan. You can come and watch. So yeah, I'm not going to tell you. There you go. No, no, give us a, give, give us a little bit. Come on, 
Come on. Um, you know what? Like, I've been canoe tripping for over 25 years, and everybody dreams of the big trips, heading to the Yukon, the Nahani, and, you know, the Yukon River, all that sort of stuff. They think about the big adventures, but they need to stop thinking about that and look at adventures closer to home. There's a lot of them. And basically, I, I'm just trying to get people's thoughts away from the big adventures to the smaller ones, which are more reachable. Ooh. Because there's a lot of people that, that, like I say, they sit at home. Yeah, I'm going to Algonquin Park because, you know, I'd love to do the Yukon. I'd love to go to the Nahani. I'd love to go to the Mountain River. But it's never going to happen because I can't take a month off work and I don't have $5,000 and blah, 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 blah. We did, I, I've done trips that like I've had an amazing time at and it's cost me under 500 bucks. And people are like, what are you talking about, really? And I go, yeah. So there, there, it's a lot of that sort of thing. And how to change your regular trips to be more adventurous. Um, so yeah, I really, I don't want to get too much into it, but um, I think it's pretty cool. It's a cool idea. Uh, it, it's, it's going to be interesting and I, I'm looking forward to people's feedback on it as well. And you, you were saying twice though, like so. I, I know it's Saturday at twelve forty-five, but yeah, twelve forty-five, and then that's it. Oh, oh. And, unless unless the the stripper club up the road has men's night, then I'll be performing there. Oh, <laughs> oh. on that note, <laughs> I'm just trying to get Kevin out of here to make room for half. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave. Is is he coming up? Uh, I don't think Hap will be on tonight. He's been having difficulties with his internet. He was mentioning to me earlier today. So uh, unless he wants to, he's got the link. If he pops into the basement, I'll let you guys know. All right. By all Otherwise, means. Kevin's so, still here. Sean, your, your presentations are on which stage and at what times? It's the paddling adventure stage. And I, I'm just I'm just the one time, Saturday at 1245. Uh, I'm right after Christina. Sean's on right after me. Yes. And Christina's on after. I'm his warm up act. Yeah. There you go. The opening act. Yeah. <laughs> Christina's the opening yeah, act. I'm going to warm them all up for him. And then... <laughs> well, that's great. So, Just like uh, your, your co host did for me last year. <laughs> yeah. So, for everybody that's, that's in the chat and uh, watching tonight, you could see obviously. Uh, what the you know the value is in buying a ticket for this event you're going to go there you're going to see some great presentations with some great people uh throughout the day you'll most likely see them walking around the uh the show and and out of them so you know go on up uh have your picture taken oh yeah you know what like Der derek i think is supposed to be roaming around with uh as well on saturday um i'll probably be there this sunday as well but I'm going to be making a, a few stops over at the Algonquin Outfitter booth. So uh, if you're looking for me, hang around there and, and I'll be dropping by a few times there. But yeah, by all means, if you see us, drop by, say hello, chat our ears off. And oh, Kevin's got something to say. Uh, yeah. So d your partner is not with you on stage? Nope. It's just me, myself, and I. Okay. Following. Well, that brings up a, a really interesting point you know about that. This this show being a really Sean Rowley presentation. Yeah, yeah. This is a Sean Rowley thing. Okay. It's not a paddling adventure radio presentation. Okay. Can I wear a t-shirt saying I want your partner? You can have them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make a call. I'll I'll send them up right now. <laughs> Preston, jump in here. Please save this conversation. Oh, no. <laughs> Please have, get, take me out here. Uh, I, and Camper Christina, you were talking about tomogamy and just that one topic yes. or, or something else? You're just doing come on me. You're not doing two different ones, right, Christina? No, nope, I don't. Same, same presentation, yeah. both days. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm not hardcore like you. One focus. <laughs> so I know I know Preston's got to uh, leave the stream here in yeah, a few I mean, short yeah. minutes. Uh, I believe you had something that you wanted to mention. Oh yeah, no, I think I already mentioned the Friday thing. But what I was, uh, um, what I I thought about uh, when when uh, Sean was talking about us all being approachable, although that might be a little debatable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is what's really interesting about this outdoor show, the, being the one, the only one really in Toronto, is um, uh, any big one. The focus on camping and outdoors and stuff is this is the time where we all meet. 
right? Like this is where, you know, how many of us even on screen here, uh, that was the first time we met at the outdoor show, right? So, I mean, this is a great opportunity for all the, the writers and bloggers, enthusiasts and videographers and all that to, to meet up, uh, which is what I really, really look forward to, but also everyone else, right? And um, uh, it's about the only place uh, uh, some of us are even slightly famous, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can attest to that because last year at the show, I met, uh, I met several people, including Kevin himself. Uh, yep. shoot a video there uh, last year when I went to the show. Uh, guys like Scott Lamont, um, Doug Linker, uh, Hap Wilson. You know, oh. it's a it's a great opportunity for anybody that uh, that is into the outdoor paddling and all these adventure things to to go out and meet the people that you actually yeah you follow on YouTube or Instagram yeah. and Facebook or what have you. Uh, you know, stop by and pick up a book off of Kevin and get that uh, that autograph from Andy, and uh, you know, just continue on from there, right? But uh, <laughs> well, that's right. I got to meet Andy at the show too. Yeah, uh, Andy, Andy's going to be there again this year. Yeah. That's awesome. No, it's not awesome. It is. It you is. Know, and if my mother signs my books again, I'm out of there. <laughs> I missed your mom by five minutes. <laughs> no, that's just wrong. When your mother starts signing your books and says, "Well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here," and this is wrong. Well, my my mom is in the chat, and if I ever write a book. I'd be more than happy to have her autograph it for me. No, I was quite. No. Right. <laughs> mind, you, mind you, I got to say, the only time I've ever been nervous presenting um, was when my mom was in the audience. And if, if my mom's in the audience, watch me. I'll be sweating and start. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Well, you know what? Anyway, I, I, I have to go. Um, so thank you guys. Um, Do you and, need a cute uh, bucket, Preston? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. Okay. Uh, but uh, thanks for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. And um, everybody out there, thank you. And have a great time at the show. Can't wait to see you guys. Thanks for coming on panel, Preston. Much Hi, appreciated. Preston. And uh, I look forward to meeting you at the show, we'll too. See you again, Preston. Thank you. Have see a great you. night. Awesome. Thank you much. And then there were five. <laughs> Unless Hap wants to come up, right? Come on, Hap. <laughs> what, what, what other presenters are, are, are presenting? Like, who, who else we got? Like, uh, I can, I can go through the list uh, quickly here if you want. Sure. Uh, anybody wants to hear it, uh, okay. what I have here. We've got the Best of Canada uh, Adventure Stage. Starts on Friday, February 21st, 11.15 a.m. Uh, Tanya McCubbin and Patricia Hewitt are presenting the uh, Adventure Awaits. Leave your phone, answer the call of the wild. At noon, I uh, want an exciting career in the great outdoors by Ellen Gallant. Uh, 1245, Are You Ready? by Douglas Bird. Uh, 1.30, Algonquin Park, Something for Everyone by Randy Mitson. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, feel free to pipe in if you, if you uh, need to comment on any of these people. Well, because I'm not familiar with some myself. Do you, do you guys, I mean, the, the first ones you listed, I don't know any of them except when you got to Randy. So what, do anybody know about them? Uh, there are a lot of um, like travel-sided uh, presentations. I think a lot more this year than than last year. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the main theater sponsor by tourist companies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and that makes sense because in in the past, I I don't think in the last couple of years, but in the past, that main theater inside was sponsored by Ontario Tourism and Ontario Parks. I don't think they're even involved anymore. But that was the the idea behind that. So those people in there were promoting whatever they were promoting. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how it works now. Uh, I'm not even sure why I'm in there. I think it's because I was too loud out in the other place, whatever, but yeah. I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell you a few that I, I'm uh, I very interested because uh, I'll be there myself on Saturday. I'll be getting there. Uh, my, my regular canoe partner uh, and I are heading out and uh, I'll be there on Saturday. So some of the shows I'm looking forward to catching, obviously at 11 15, uh, Hap and Andrew are going to be doing Places That Inspire uh, oh, okay. on the, the Canada Adventure stage. And he's also doing one on Miss Nabby, right? Yes. Yeah, I believe yeah. he's got a second one. Uh, yeah, you, you really should check that one out. Yeah. I don't know if that's the same day, though. I think that might be on the Sunday. Uh, it's Friday, I think. I, got, I, I, I can't find my it's highlighted Sunday. version. Yeah. And then let's see here. We also got, uh, of course, Northern, Mr. Northern Kevin Allen here. Speaking, somewhere, aren't they? Yeah, uh, Northern Scavengers uh, are in. I'll be at uh, 1245. 
unless they've changed your time. Am I? So you just went at what was that one? Your your presentation, which is top Algonquin canoe routes. Oh, I thought you were talking about Northern Scavengers. Uh, sorry, someone no, said I Northern Scavengers. Yeah. 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 No, no, I had said Northern Scavengers are in there somewhere. Are they not? Yeah, yeah. right after uh, then Ben, ben Stacy's yeah. presenting. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and, and, and then uh, Noah Northern and Alex Scavengers. from uh, Northern Scavengers are yeah. doing two fifty. Oh no, at three o'clock. Yeah, just to go to that, go to the show just for that would be worth it. I mean, I haven't seen the present presentation, but I know that would be an awesome trip. And they were looking forward to it. And I think they would do an awesome job. So I think just to go to the Toronto show itself, and Sean as well, and, and David, and, and Camp and Christina. But uh, just to go see the North Scavengers Labrador trip uh, would be awesome. Yeah. I shouldn't yeah. say that. That's kind of. For sure. Yeah. I, I've watched the trailers on YouTube for this uh, for this adventure that they're on, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you're if anybody's at the show on Saturday, definitely two fifteen at the uh, the Best of Canada Adventure stage. Get out there and check out uh, Noah Booth and Alex Trainer from Northern Scavengers. Their presentation is called Boreal to Barrenlands: Crossing that's Labrador. Cool. And, and so, so, Dennis is is Justin from uh, the guy that went across Newfoundland? Is he presenting on Sunday or not? Am Justin I Justin Barber. Yeah. Is he at the show this year? I didn't see him. I don't, on think, the he is. I don't think he's at the no. show this year. Oh, damn. Uh, no. so I, I guess he was loud. Adam year. Schultz is talking. You didn't mention Adam. Adam oh. Schultz is talking. Oh, really? I didn't know that mm -hmm. either. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. when's Adam Schultz presenting? Uh, I can't see it right off the top here. He's on the Adventures and Paddling stage. Oh, okay. Saturday or Sunday? I think it's Sunday. Yeah, I think, I think it's Sunday. Sunday, too. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, Adam Schultz? Uh, Is that uh, Adam Schultz? Yeah, yeah he's on Sunday at 11.15. He's on Sunday at 11.15. Yeah. So, I'm halfway you know, we, we could go yeah. on and on and on and on. There, there are just so many great presentations that are going to be happening. And somewhere in between all that, you have to find time to go spend money. Yes. <laughs> great adventure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, that's the like truth, right? Though. There you go one day to watch presentations, the next day to spend money, something like that, right? So, well, we, then, uh, lots of well. we walk Pardon around me? with our uh, recording gear and doing interviews with people. So, awesome. But, yeah, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there shooting video as well. Um, just to, just like I did last year, get some highlights and I could shoot Kevin and Kevin could shoot me and with a camera. Yeah, yeah, with the camera, of course, of course. All right. Right. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see here. We're, we're drawing very close here to the uh, the eight o'clock hour when I do my uh, my giveaways. So everybody, stick around for a minute because I'm just going to go over a couple things really quick. Um, I have, if anybody's looking for tickets for this uh, for this show, there's a coupon code that you can actually. Type in when you go to purchase your tickets online. It's going to save you four bucks, and that's a pretty significant savings considering it's uh, fourteen dollars to get in, brings it down to ten dollars. So good opportunity for you to uh, to pick up your tickets at a good discount. This is uh, available to anybody, and I don't know how long it's going to be live online, but uh, you might want to snag up your tickets quickly. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Part of my giveaway, I was actually given uh, tickets to the show. So I'm going to give away three pairs of tickets today uh, to a lucky, well, three lucky winners that uh, I'll put out in the mail once I receive the tickets. And we're going to work this uh, this giveaway kind of like this. Uh, let's see. In the past, I've done it where we type in a few letters. So if everybody wants to put on their caps lock right now on their computers, okay, you guys don't need tickets to the show. You already got tickets, right? I'm going to scalp them. Tickets. I'm going to be sitting out front. Tickets. Yeah. These tickets. <laughs> Fix I got my tickets like two days ago for this show. I should have waited. I could have got a couple freebies, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so what I need you to do, everybody in the chat, if you can make the show only, please. Uh, don't want somebody getting tickets and having them go to waste. I'd love to see them going into uh, somebody's hands that can use them. Type in the letters OAS, Outdoor Adventure Show, OAS. And then I've got some numbers written down, and once I, uh, we'll see who's going to win that. So let's get that all populated, people. OAS. 
if you uh, go back a little bit in the in the chat, I saw a, a thing from Hap. It looks like he's giving away a free trip to Cabin Falls, and Kevin is paying for it. What? 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 I don't see the chat here. What? Yeah, I heard are we drawing that tonight? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Are we allowed to enter? I'm going to enter if Kevin's paying for it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Who wants a free trip to Cabin Falls Eco Lodge? Kevin is paying. It's a trip for two. Well, no, I think it's a group trip. Oh, group. No, uh, no, 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 no. Hap, you've got myself uh, in a lot of trouble lately. In the, 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 well, speaking of shows, by the way, we, we've all... You guys talk. I'm going to pick the winners, the winners here. Don't change the subject now, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Kev. Yeah, Uncle oh, Kev. Uh, Freaking Uncle Kevin. Jesus. Is it Grandpa Kevin? No. Mm -hmm. I had to throw that out for the scavengers. Jesus, I hate that. Uh, <laughs> um, I am not. No, 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 no. Uh, I, we've had a lot of this fun at shows in the past. Actually, Hap and I, especially because we've been doing shows for a long time. Not the world, uh, but we don't for a long time. Uh, but ha remember when um, Becky's uh, Becky Mason's uh, husband Reed? Uh, we're at this one show in Muskoka. You were there, and it was an outside uh, venue. And I I was about to go on stage, and uh, and uh, Reed goes, "Hey, you're going on stage? Yeah, good luck." And he got his water bottle and he squirted water on my crotch. <laughs> and I went, "You're kidding me!" And Hap, you laughed your ass off. Everybody was laughing. I got on stage, and sure enough. Great Kevin moment. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for coming out. There's like a couple hundred people there. I went, yeah, just don't look down here in this area. And just made it worse, right? Because everybody's looking down. Yeah. And the other time, I think I have, uh, uh, glued a toonie onto the floor once at the show because it was such a boring show. Nobody was even there. We, we got nothing to do. And he was just playing practical jokes. <laughs> Endless practical jokes, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Good times. <laughs> All right. Well, I got our winners. Really? Can anybody guess at who one of the winners is? What for the mama? For for your for your trip to Hap Wilson's uh, Echo Lodge. I, I miss all that. I was talking. What? what? Did Kevin win? Me, 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 me. No, no, no. Hap okay. won. <laughs> so every week I have our I have our giveaways, and usually it, it goes good. So this week I selected numbers four, eleven, and fourteen. So counting down through my chat list, number four was Daniel Maylot, the birthday boy. Can oh, you see that clear? that's great. Fantastic. Yep. And then number 11 was Paula Papinski. All righty. And then the person who seems to have the luck of the Irish right here, Mama Bear's backpack. Nailed oh, it. Oh, <laughs> you, you, really? you got that too, eh? So – I, I'll have a pair of tickets for each of you uh, because Mama Bear's backpack and Daniel kind of know each other very well. Uh, I got a feeling they're going to be bringing some friends with them. So if you guys can drop me your mailing addresses to canoehound at gmail.com, I will get your tickets out as well as a sticker pack of uh, Canoe Hound Outdoor Adventure stickers and Canoe Hound Adventure stickers for your water bottles. So just drop me your emails and... Uh, We'll go on from there. So that's done. This is the fun part of the show where we get to uh, carry on like a bunch of high school kids. Oh, we're not done. Kevin does we're that done. all the time. <laughs> What's the matter, Kevin? You seem concerned. I, no, I'm not concerned. I just thought that was the end of the night. I just like, no, 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 no chicken wings tonight. I was told. Really? What? No chicken wings tonight. My mom, to, or my mom, my wife told me, she says, uh, we're not doing chicken wings tonight. Oh, oh, oh that's, a Freudian, that's a Freudian slip, man. Oh. <laughs> okay, continue. Sorry, Dan. Yeah. So if anybody in the chat has any questions for anybody on panel, uh, feel free to pipe them in. Don't forget, just put the word question in uh, capitals before so we can uh, figure out that it's a question, and we'll get on to that. So what's everybody got planned for uh, the next little while? No, you haven't finished. Why are you not having chicken wings at the end of the night? Like, what's going oh, on? Uh, well, my daughter's working early in the morning, and I don't know. I didn't get into it. I just said, okay. 
I, I don't ask questions. He was you know, told, and you inspire yeah. me. The whole relationship, but you inspire me by by going out uh, like uh, late night, like a really like for me going out for chicken wings yeah. at that time. Like, oh, we lost John. Dead after this, like I don't know, God. Actually, oh, you know what? Yeah. Even before we get out of that, I, I should go over a few more details of the show here uh, before we get into our general banter. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, usually cut out about this time. Uh, a few more details on the show. So it's taking place February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd at the International Center in Toronto, which is basically across from the uh, Toronto International Airport. So if you're from way out of town, feel free to fly in and just walk across the street, right? <laughs> uh, on, on Friday, the show runs from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m. Uh, on uh, Saturday, the show runs from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And then on Sunday, it runs from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. And like I said, it's still going across the bottom of the screen. If you need to purchase your tickets, uh, you can do so by visiting the outdooradventureshow.ca, or it's just outdooradventureshow.ca, and click on purchase tickets, and you'll be able to uh, use that code and save yourself a bit of cash. And then you could go and you can run over and buy one of Kevin's books with the extra... There you go. Are you going to be selling? Are you bringing any of the uh, once around Algonquin? Speaking of buying stuff, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, Tim at Canadian Outdoor Equipment, he's going to have all the books there. Okay. Uh, Ontario Parks used to be there. Are, they're not there again this year. Not that I know of. Okay, I'm not knocking Ontario Parks, by the way, when I say this, but shame, shame. They should be there. Wow. Uh, I know Doug is ruining everything for everybody, but if they're not at the biggest show in in, in, in Canada, uh, Toronto, um, someone's doing something wrong. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but I'm glad I did. Uh, I will also have books at, uh, I, I think Algonquin Outfitters will have uh, the Algonquin book as well. Yeah, so yeah, I'll, the books will be there and I'll be there. And everybody should know, I, and you guys would know because you've seen me separately. Well, maybe not Dennis. Um, but sure enough, I'll, everybody else, I'm not as hyper as I am at shows. <laughs> so if you're wondering, my God, is that guy like that all the time? Uh, Do we believe him? No. When I go home from shows, because mm -hmm. right now I have 36 booked uh, starting at the Toronto show uh, all the way until the beginning of June. I have 36 presentations all across North America and the UK, right? And I tell you, when I get home, I go in a closet and close the lights and go to bed. <laughs> you sleep in the closet? Yes. Hanging upside down like a bat. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. Bad man. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, actually, in all honesty, after all those shows, I do a huge solo trip, and I don't even video it. I don't write about it. No, do nothing. I, I, um, I've, I've done that for years. I go on a big trip, and I don't even do anything to do with social media about it. So, yeah. Smart man. Okay, yeah, so kind of cool. Nate Muskoka staying on the screen until one of you answer this question. Does anybody uh, break down and eat the show pizza? No. Not a problem. Yeah. I'll Ooh. eat a lot of things, but not show pizza. Yeah, because it costs $30,000, isn't it? Like a cup of coffee costs $4,000. Mm -hmm. I had a steak sandwich last year. It was really good. Uh, but it was expensive. I think it was like $14 or something for this like little. But it was good. But, um, yeah. No pizza. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ethan yeah. seems to think I should still go out for chicken wings tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Speaking of shopping, there there's a few really good places to buy stuff, right? Um, yeah. What are you guys' favorites? Uh, like, there's Eureka's there. Um, yeah. Outdoors yeah. Oriented, I believe, is going to be there again this year. Outdoors Toronto Oriented. Toronto Neck Outfitters. That's, right. That's my local uh, outdoor store. Algonquin Outfitters. Yep. Yeah. Who else do we have? And then we have the, the canoe uh, company. Uh, Frontac, uh, Zach's going to be there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll be hanging out a little bit there on and off as well if people are looking for well, me. Well, I was in the tent last week with Zach, and he knew all about you, and I was waiting for him to tell terrible stories of you, but nothing. You didn't have any? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you sound surprised, Christina. Well, I feel kind of bad for the stuff I told him about Kevin now. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what, 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 Kevin? When are you going to give in and start rocking them all? You almost, I, yeah, I know. 
Time for a haircut. I had a mullet for years, actually. I, I was going to say, when I first knew you, you had a mullet, I think. I had John Denver round glasses. Yeah. Best. I had hippie beads and a mullet. Yeah. 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 I, and you and you wore mucklucks. I still do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I still, yeah, I still kind of have a mullet and I still have those vests. <laughs> yeah. That's why I get all the girls. Yeah. That's right. It's the is the Ottawa show happening? I've been waiting to hear uh, uh, because I'm supposed yeah. to go. Yeah, good question. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything, so that's not a good thing. And they don't invite me, so. No? What? Nope. Don't know who I am. Sean? Yes? May no. I ask you a question? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a question, technically. So. Yes, it was. May yeah, I ask what, you two What did they ask me? Um, no, I just I was curious because I was I'm intrigued by your um, by your presentation. I was just wondering what it, is it come about sort of because you speak on Paddling Adventures Radio? Did you get some sort of um, enthusiasm from people who were speaking there, or is this something from your own life, or where? Because your topic is rather unique, and I just thought I'd dig a little deeper uh, just on what inspired you. It's a bit of both, actually. Um, I've been on this kick over the last couple of years to dial stuff back um, mm -hmm. in the terms of the latest and greatest gear, you know, the, the, the spot unit and uh, the GPS. Um, and as, as many people know, I have the nickname Dossier. So because I plan my trips so far beyond and I've, I've started stepping back from doing that. Um, and as I'm researching stuff and reading stories and, and listen to other people's comments, it's really, you know what? I'm missing out on adventure by planning too much, you know, uh, it, it's like, well, this is my route. Day one, I'm going from here to there. I'm probably going to stop somewhere in here for lunch. And, you know, this is what I'm bringing. And here's what we're going to do for the first day. And even right down to, okay, here's my menu. For the morning, this is what I'm eating. For the afternoon, this is what I'm eating. Dinner, this is what I'm eating. And I have to eat this for dinner on the first night. I can't eat it the second night. Sort of. Like, it, it got to the point where it's almost OCD. Over the last couple of years, I've been getting more into the, you know, like just drop all that. Just just get away from it all as much as possible and just wing it. And I've been having a lot more fun doing that. So it got me thinking into different trips that I can do. And you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'd love to go do these big trips, but I can't do it. I can't afford the time. I can't afford the money, that sort of stuff. I, I mean, I got one kid in college, one in like 20 years of university. Uh, mortgage, cars, the the whole shebang, right? I got this multi-dollar podcast empire I got to run. And it, it's just like, you know what? What can I do? Because I've done Algonquin Park pff, up to here. I need to start doing something different because I don't want to start getting bored with what I'm doing, the canoe tripping and stuff like that. Same places, same adventures, year in, year out. So I've gotten into... Um, achievable adventures, we'll call it. And I said, you know what? This is cool doing this sort of thing because it, it's different than what I've been doing. It's not what I'd love to do, but it's different. It is an adventure the way I'm doing it. Um, and yeah, other people are chiming in on it as well. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So it just sort of all came together. And I'm like, this is, is, is a lot more than, than just changing where I'm going. Right, and their the adventures out there are achievable. I mean, people used to do it all the time a hundred years ago. They didn't have all the gear. They didn't have the GPS satellite overhead because you know there was nothing in space at that point. Hundred years ago, yeah, it's only twenty twenty. Um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta think about this now, right? So um, yeah, so it just came about that, and it's just like you know what? Start looking into things and adventures out there, and it's out there for everybody, and it's a lot more achievable than you think. You just got to look at the map and go, well, you start doing the math and looking up. I mean, Google's your friend. I've always said that. And 
you start looking at stuff and it is a lot more achievable than you think going on all these adventures. I like it. Me too. Another guy in the canoe is asking, uh, how do I hide the gear for my wife if I buy some at the show? It was free. <laughs> it was free. Kevin, Callan, and Christina were throwing it into the and crowd. And ship to your work. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. I don't know. I, I looked up and this big canoe was flying at me. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody strapped that canoe to the wrong vehicle. <laughs> I, 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 you, other guy in the canoe, you just got to promise her a nice dinner on the way home. That's all. Well, you can do what I did. And I, sent, I, I, I bought a new canoe and I took a picture of the front seat and I emailed it to my wife. I said, I bought you a canoe seat. <laughs> Good thank you. <laughs> uh, really, really quick. I just wanted to uh, to announce something here quickly because uh, Mama Bear's backpack <laughs> gave up her tickets because because uh, she wins uh, everything. Because yeah, she wins yeah. everything. All wins everything her and Daniel will share, obviously. Yes. Uh, but uh, I selected uh, Brian J because he was next on the list. So Brian J, I uh, I dropped a uh, something in the chat there with my email address. Drop me your email and or your your mailing address, and I'll get those tickets out to you as soon as uh, they're available to me. So, and Camper Christina, I know you already answered in the chat, but you'll be selling your T-shirts at the show. No. Uh, no, unfortunately not. Um, I have like 17 different styles, six different sayings, men's, women's, you know, the colors. There's just way too many things for me to guess. Um, all of the shirts are custom made to order. Um, so order them online anytime you want. You can go right now and order some if you want. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right just just as a, a curiosity <laughs> thing for, for everybody in the chat there, um, just put like a number one. Will you be attending the show uh, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Put a number one in the chat just so I can get an idea of how many people might be attending the show. And also, uh, uh, Dennis, I forgot, um, uh, Jerry DeVinner, I always say his last name wrong, but the singer song, he's there uh, Friday night presenting, and you, you need to check him out if you haven't. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He yeah. sings and writes yeah. songs about canoeing, and they're good. And he's a nice guy. Pick he's awesome. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. Check out Paddling. Put it on the bottom of your glass. Uh, in your line. If, if, you, if you see me walking around the show, I'll have a ton of these stickers, Paddling Adventures Radio Podcast stickers. Hit me up for one. Yep. Same here. Glad, gladly part with them. I have some in my fridge. Really? That sounds like something a ketchup bottle would have. Yes, ketchup bottle, and I think uh, some other condiments had them on them. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Condiments? What? Wow. Well, <laughs> what? Condoms? What? Yeah. It's paddling you know, you know, condoms. Party at your house after a symposium, and some clown has stickers. They end up all over your fridge stuff. What? You bring condoms after the party? What? What? Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Don't you? Well, Sorry. judging by the uh, chat, there's going to be quite a few, few, yeah, quite a few people on the uh, from the show here that'll be at the uh, at the show. So that's good. <laughs> and I, I too, just like uh, Sean, will be wandering around the floors. I'll have a video cam or a camera strapped around my neck. So if you uh, want some canoe hound swag, hit me up. I'll have some of them in my pocket until they're all gone. Oh crap! I gotta get some swag, man. I gotta, oh, yeah. Yeah, just, just to clarify, um, David's comments uh after the canoe symposium we were all at his place uh having a couple of beers when he left the room derek and myself and a couple others thought it'd be funny i can't remember why they were in your fridge but i said here here's some stickers and derek started putting them on like the ketchup the mayonnaise the mustard bottles and then we closed the fridge we figure at some point they're going to open up their fridge and there's going to be all these paddling adventures radio stickers across all the condiments <laughs> it's on. A crackle joke at the Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show. It's on. It is. It is. Be there or be square, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Mama Bear's backpack was asking if I have any swag for sale. I, I have some swag on Teesprings. I've got the Canoe Hound Adventure shirts uh, and a bunch of other things that you could pick up there. Um, 
I will be revamping probably within the next week or two my uh, selection to also include the Canoe Hound Outdoor Adventure Show logo on a shirt. See if anybody would want that. But, uh, yeah, check it out. I think I've actually got some shirts on there right now at cost, too. So if you're looking for a shirt, get on there. I make nothing, but you're going to look good. It's going to look good. I think Christina has a question. I'm not sure. Sorry, uh, no. I have some stickers as well. And um, hello, Kat. And uh, I might have a few multicolored headliners in my backpack for sale for 20 bucks. Um, and also, uh, we forgot to talk about uh, a presenter that I wanted to mention, Brad Jennings and Boy. Leah Schmidt, Exploring the Backcountry. Um, they're talking about uh, misadventures. I think it's kind of like a, a couple thing. It, I, I didn't see a big description about it, but uh, Brad, Brad and Lee are great uh, presenters. They're really good on stage and uh, have great visuals. And um, if you if you you get a chance to catch their presentation, they're on at uh, three o'clock. Uh -huh. They switched with press. So yeah. they're on at three o'clock on Saturday on the Adventures and Paddling stage. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one myself too. Uh, I tried to get Brad on tonight there, but uh, he must have missed the email or the uh, the the inst or the Facebook post. But uh, not a problem. He'll uh, he'll be on one day as a guest. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that because uh, him and Lee actually do some uh, pretty good adventures. That'd be awesome, uh, Dennis. I, I noticed. Um, I. I a couple of people sent me notice there were some changes in the in the schedule too. There was new a new person added on just uh, like a week ago. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not aware of that. Uh, I'm just like I say today, flying by the seat of my pants because uh, something to do with um, safety in the outdoors or something like that. Who was that? Safety in the outdoors. David Lee is being sponsored by Spot to talk about safety while canoeing. Okay, yeah, they're at 11:15 on Saturday. And that's new? Like, uh, like I didn't see that uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, Spot, I believe, is a new sponsor this year for the outdoor. They're actually sponsoring the stage partially with Global Star Canada Satellite Company. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. According to my... <laughs> no, that's, uh, like I say, it's going to be an interesting show. Uh, <laughs> like you guys are organized because I'm just like, oh, I'll be there. <laughs> I got an email last night <laughs> asking about this, so, we, so we've we been trying to put some stuff together today quickly. Okay, okay. Sean, you you, you always have, uh, here on your uh, podcast, well, you night. have a lot of stories about David Lee. Um, yeah, well, the big thing, David Lee, he doesn't believe in canoe tripping in water. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that on one of your very early episodes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> David Lee has, has he has all these these great canoe trip plans and you sit here thinking, man, that's going to be an awesome trip. And he, you know, he swindles people to come with him, and I'm just thinking, and everybody, and I know everybody's sitting there thinking as well, that is going to be a really cool trip. And then you, they get back and they're like, well, how was it? Well, apparently this year was a drought year and there was no water. So we portaged and portaged and portaged. <laughs> Yeah. It's become a bit of a joke, and I start to feel bad for him. But um, you know what? He really loves getting out there and paddling. He's got quite the passion for it. Uh, we've had him on the show a couple of times. and Actually, he was a, a guest host one, uh, first year or second year, I think it was, because Derek was away. So I got uh, David in to, to do a, a, one of our shows with me. And uh, no, you know what? He's, he's a great guy. He's, he's, he, he's jumped right into the paddling, and he's got such a passion for it, and he he checks out these these old roots that you can't find anymore, uh, old roots that are there but apparently have no water anymore. I was going to say that's because they've dried up. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's why they're not there anymore. Um, oh, nobody goes there. It, it's really cool to listen to some of his his um, <laughs> adventures that he's had over over the years. So I, I'm really hoping because he, he sort of he sort of I know he's been busy with a few things. Work works changed a bit and stuff, and he's gotten into the. Uh, the uh, mountain climbing stuff over the last couple winters. So that's bitten into his canoe time, I think. So I I'm really hoping that he gets back into the uh, canoeing a bit more this year and gets more of his um, uh, trip logs and videos and that online. It's great to see him. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's good. He's been on your show. Well, he had uh, two, sh you had two, no, him on two shows in a row, <laughs> did you not? 
I know how to talk now. I'm just going to type a message and then boom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what do you want to say, Christina? My apologies. I don't think you want to say, Christina. Christina was going to say something. Oh, I don't know. I think for audio is cut out. Yeah. Anyway, so for David Lee, you had him two episodes in a row on your uh, on Paddling Adventures Radio, did you not? Yeah, because we did we did a, a show and a half with him as a host. Uh, so actually, half the show was him as a host, and the other half Derek was back. So right, right. Yeah, but yeah, it was it was it was a long enough thing that we we sort of carried on into the the second uh, the second show the second episode with David. But yeah, he he enjoys being on and. And, and chatting about the, the tripping and that that he does. And it's real cool. Like I say, just to pick his brain about the different routes and, and stuff like that. Hmm. This is a good one for you, uh, Kevin. Your thoughts on Justin Barber's trip? Um, his latest one or is the one he's posted before? Um, uh, probably probably his, uh, his uh, Baffin <laughs> Island or uh, <laughs> Labrador trip. Yeah, um, right now it's a great series so far. It's fantastic. So I did a, a whiskey chat with him, or really organically. It was it was kind of a silly of a thing, but you know he lives in Newfoundland, and I was like, how am I going to do this? I didn't want to do a live feed, um, and so I ended up just putting him on my laptop. And I loved his his series before that. I loved his book. Uh, I did a, a, a review for Star Magazine, and also Charles Star for on his book. Just really liked the guy, and then had the interview. And you know, first five minutes, they said, "Okay, like, um, can you pull the tooth out?" <laughs> yep. That was hysterical. Like, uh, and he told me off camera about his new series that's now out. And yeah, I won't burst any bubbles, whatever. But it was an amazing trip. But it's not at all what he planned. Um, but I think it's it makes it a better trip. I think he's the real deal. There, there's, I mean, everybody's the real deal in this world, but there's cer certain people in my life where I meet and I'm thinking they're the real deal. They're, they're not full of BS. They're not full of themselves. They're, it, they do what they do and they, they share it and, and you can connect to it or not. But I tell you, no, nah, he's the real deal. I don't know him well. I don't know him personally, but I, I got to say that, that, that that's amazing what he did. It just throw the mic down. Like mm -hmm. when you see people do a trip like that, you throw the mic down. It, it's like we, we go on and on and on about being out there, and then you watch his trip, throw the mic down. Like, holy <laughs> crap, man. Yeah. Like, like just, yeah. And true Newfoundland style. Like, I don't know if you've ever been in, to, to Newfoundland, but the people are amazing. They, they always say they're amazing, but they are amazing. Amazing people. I remember doing a film uh, project out there. And we had uh, hired actors to come in to do this, this whole scene for us of fishing, and they didn't show up. And I just went up to these guys in the dock, and I said, guys, can you take us out fishing? Uh, and they took us out cod fishing. They, they, they played the fiddle, and, and it was amazing. And everybody goes, how would you get that scene? I went up to someone and asked them on the dock. Like, uh, it's it's amazing place, amazing uh, country. And, uh, yeah, good for him. Really good for him. Yeah, you, you, really you uh, 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 saying goodbye for the night. So good night, Hap. Thanks for Hap. coming in. Oh, Hap, come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know these guys that are doing these uh, these epic trips like that, and then turning them into series. You know, like explore the backcountry. They got theirs coming up. We got Justin. We got uh, Jim Baird with his uh, his uh, Baffin Island trip or uh, truck. Right, I'm I'm loving these things. Like the 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 video work that these guys are putting into these and the editing that they're doing on these things are they're they're almost like TV quality, right? It's, well, it's they are great TV entertainment. Quality. They are TV quality. It's art TV now. Like we don't, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't watch TV. No. So when I see a Justin thing or Jim Baird's a new, new thing or a uh, backcountry anger guy, like I literally sit and watch uh, that. That's what I do that night. I will literally watch that whole thing. Tumble home just put out in a thing tonight. And I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, Tumble Home is new. And it's like Happy Days when Happy Days came out. Oh, my God, there's a new episode of Happy Days, you know, or uh, Laverne and Shirley. Who? Same thing, right? But it, 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 <laughs> We're showing our age, Kevin. Laverne and who? Oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, Pepsi and Coke? No, no, Pepsi and milk. No, no. What'd you have? 
Coke and milk, I think. Liver and sugar. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, worked That's at a brewery in Milwaukee. I know that. Okay. Yep. So Tripping and Trekking is asking, can anyone recommend a good outfitter up north for a trip into White Otter Lake Provincial Park? Anybody. Where is that? That's where the castle is, right? Yeah. Um, so the outfitter, I don't know if... I don't know if he passed away a couple years ago. Um, if you send me an email, uh, just callan at simpatico.ca, I will send you the outfitter. I just don't know offhand, so I, I but I will send it to you. Uh, Dennis Mike was the outfitter that that I knew. Um, I knew his daughter. In fact, I taught his daughter at the college. Uh, I don't know if he's still around, uh, but that's the guy. If, if he's still around, um, yeah. Cool. Cool. I, I've never even heard of that park, so I, I couldn't even venture to. What? You guys are. Right. We, we haven't been around a block like you, Kevin. Uh, stop Kevin. It. No, uh, Jimmy. You haven't read your book, Kevin. You, no, you don't know about Jimmy McEwitt? That's an amazing story. It so, is. Guy, in, in 1914, he, he got all his money from the gold rush and lost it all. And then, uh, uh, then he ma mail ordered a bribe from Scotland. And she wasn't going to show up, so he built this castle in 1914, in the middle of nowhere, on White Otter Lake. And then she never did show up. And then he went out fishing and drowned on his fishing net and died there. And so the castle's still there. So Dennis Mike and a whole bunch of um, uh, volunteers restored the castle for many, many years, and it's now part of a waterway provincial park. It's an amazing place. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, cool. Nobody here knows about that. No, I do. Yeah. Oh. You're all my age. Oh, okay, David. There you go. I mean, you're you're not. We're here. You're, age. Age. you're all my age. You, you should know all about this. I don't think Christina's our age. I'm not your age. You're older. We're all your age. You're not. Kevin's not in his what? Late fifties, early sixties. <laughs> That's you. Uncle Ken. That's wait, wait a sec. David, let, let me get my finger on the beep button really quick here. <laughs> Might as well start talking about double blading or single blading. That's right. Oh, no, don't get started. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> Bennett, I have to say good night. So I'm going to yeah, say I, goodbye to everyone. Uh, and I am too, Dave. Uh, not because of the comments. I really I do have to go to work tonight. Uh, so who's replacing? Hap's not replacing. Uh, no, I think uh, we, we we could we could probably hold the fort here. Probably hold okay. the fort here. It should be good. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe yeah. old Stye would like to come on panel. Oh, he never has any stories at all. No, Stye Stye's a great storyteller. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, okay. David, thank you very much for coming on panel tonight. Short notice. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you on Saturday. And uh, once again, you know what? While you're on here, tell us the good news about the, uh, the Ontario Backcountry Canoe Symposium. The good news is uh, this time we set a record for the earliest sellout. So it actually sold out uh, 10 weeks before the show, um, which is very exciting, uh, but somewhat uh, scary because I continually bump into people who say, oh, I'm getting my tickets. And I say, ah, they're gone already. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're very excited. It seems to, uh, we have a great lineup this year and, uh, and, uh, it's sold very well. So it, it, it bodes well for the, the ongoing, uh, you know, symposium, uh, crowd. And it gives us an opportunity to get together twice a year now. And, and plus the outdoor adventure show makes three times a year. So, um, yeah, we're very excited. Very excited. Well, I'm happy to say I got my tickets. There you go. So Excellent. Uh, I'm looking forward to the show and congratulations on a sellout. That's awesome. And it just, uh, it's a testimony to obviously the quality of your show. So next year, people get in early or get your oh, tickets. Yep. Get, get your tickets. tickets early. That's awesome. Congrats. And uh, we'll see you at the show on Saturday. Well, you bet. in February. <laughs> exactly. Take care, folks. Thanks, David. Have a good one. Thanks, David. Bye, David. Okay. See you, see, see you guys at the show, guys. Uh, look forward to every, seeing everybody. Uh, maybe not the practical jokes um, and the limelight afterwards. Uh, that's just crazy. But um, I really do enjoy the outdoor shows and meeting people. 
and shaking hands and, and really, really enjoy listening to everybody else's adventures they've had out there. I, I think the, at the end of the day, just by just stand there listening to other people's tales of being out in the woods uh, just makes my life. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, if, if I had to say, why do I do all these shows? Um, because they are crazy at times, busy at times, and and whatever. But in the, the day, just to hear everybody's stories, like families coming out to me, new Canadians coming out to me, just saying, "Hey, this is fantastic. We we did this canoe trip. It was just phenomenal." And I just stand there in awe listening to them. So thanks a lot, and I see you guys at the show. Thanks, Kevin. Oh, we'll be. Kevin, you forgot about uh, the free scotch. What? Oh, yeah. What? Oh. You enjoy getting free scotch. No, I do. Yeah, all your gifts. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, bring, bring. Everybody brings the booze. Wasn't that at the end of your video last year on this show? Every or, uh, show I go to, honest to God, no story, Dennis. But at the end of the, the the show season, I have like a bar full. Who, who's your favorite singer? Uh, Jerry Diviner. No, Vandiver. Vandiver. Oh. Jerry Vandiver. He's a really good who's, friend. Too. Who has a new yeah. album coming out? Yes. By the way. Yes. Who's, who's your 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 really your most favorite singer ever in the John entire Denver. world? John Denver. John Denver. Oh yeah. Rocky Mountain. If, any, if anybody has any John Denver eight track tapes, Kevin will take them. I have I have uh, <laughs> albums mounted on my wall upstairs. Uh, speaking of that, uh, somewhere in April, I'll, I'll I'll tell everybody when it is. I got this amazing thing, Kirkwood Museum, which is actually just I uh, know west of, of Lindsay, Ontario, which is a very odd museum. Uh, but they have a theater there, and they have a bunch of cool things. And the guy said, "Hey, Kevin, we want to you present there, but we want to do something different. What would be different?" I went, "Well, you don't know anybody that would sing John Denver songs before I get up on stage, would you?" Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> I will send the details. He and he, he lit he, and he just last night sent me his song list uh, of approval. Would would these songs be okay? If I, I, John, oh my God, I'm going to have such a good time at that show. Kevin's fangirling. I am. John <laughs> I love John. Ever since I was a preteen, I listened to John Dever growing up, Rocky Mountain High. Awesome. Born in my 27th year, which is actually my first book came out when I was 27, which is really cool that, that he's wrote that song about me. Just saying. Yeah. No, right. no, um, he, he didn't. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Paradise by the dash. Oh, no. Okay, never mind that. I well, do uh, what you love. Well, well my field. Yeah. Uh, really quick, uh, Jerry Vandiver is uh, he's all is he only presenting on the Friday? Do you know uh, Sean? I do know. I talked to him last night. He he, he will be there. Um, he's 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 singing at the uh, Canadian Wilderness Symposium on Saturday. Oh, okay. And he's singing on the Friday night outside the main theater because last year he had nobody, and and I really felt bad for him. I mean, you you go to the United States at the shows, and it's packed when he's there, like packed. Like this guy's good, right? But when he went to the Toronto show, nobody knew who he was. Um, so I got him on my, uh, during my presentation on the Sunday to, to, to sing a last song just so everybody would get to know him and also because it was a good song. But he's going to be now on the outside stage, um, and that will make a difference, I think. But uh, really check him out. Uh, yeah, I, yeah uh, I can't say anything negative at all. Like The guy writes songs about canoeing, and he's a national famous singer-songwriter. And he also worked with my daughter and wrote a song called uh, Canoeing with Daddy, and uh, uh, a couple years ago, and and that was amazing. I mean, her, she, she's in grade ten now, and, and kids found it on iTunes and started playing in the hall in the, in the high school. And she goes, "Dad, I'm so embarrassed." I went, "You're in a, you're on an album for heaven's sake, and you and you you get royalties for this song. What the hell's wrong with you?" Yeah, no. And I see she got her braces off today. It's tight. You're 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 now you're now in the helm. I'm leaving. Hey, I put in the chat that, yeah, I'll come up now because Kevin's going to leave and it's going to get kind of quiet around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys Before you go, Kevin. <laughs> hey, I'll just shut this off, though. Oh, oh. Kevin, yeah, what? Yeah. before you leave, I made somebody a promise today that we would not allow you to get arrested at the border in, in uh, no, February. I, 
No, and you know what? I was drinking tea that entire night when I sent you that message. I was completely non uh, beverage and enhanced. I am going across the border with Sean and his partner to go into the Quiet Water Symposium. God help us all. I I told them I don't think Kevin knows what he signed up for by joining our trip. No, no, you don't know what you signed up for. I fly there all the time, and I got to say, over all the years, I been well. Last year on the way back from that show, I got strip searched. Just saying, just let you know, okay? Yeah, but you didn't know the custom agent with the big fingers. <laughs> okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we got pulled over on the way there. Yeah, yeah. my monetization. Seriously, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just want to know where we're going, what we're doing, that sort of thing. We Not a big deal. Let At least when they said, have you ever been in handcuffs, the words pink fuzzy ones didn't nope. come out. Nope. <laughs> you know what? I have to say I do a lot of traveling, and you guys will laugh your buns off. When I get to customs and they start asking questions, I say nothing except what they want to hear, mainly because I want to get to where I'm going, and also because I got nothing to hide. In fact, I even said to them, find the drugs. There's no drugs on me. Go ahead. I'm not a drug Oh, don't ever say oh, that. Oh, you were daring him. I said that. I got, Go ahead. Try me. I got pulled over by the Ohio State Troopers. I was outside Cleveland, and they pulled me over. I was doing four miles over the speed limit. Boom, they pulled me over. And this cop, he, boy, he had a thousand questions, and I'm just giving him what he asked for. But then he goes, well, let's see. He says, Okay, you're from Wisconsin. You're driving a car that's registered in Texas. And I said, well, yeah, I rented it at the airport in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And he's going, oh, okay, we got Wisconsin, Texas, Minnesota. And where are you going? And I had to say something stupid. It was actually, I see, I'm honest. So I told him, I said, I'm going out to Delaware, all the way on the eastern seaboard to buy drug seizure cars and have them shipped back to Wisconsin. Oh, no. I had a deal with the courts out there, and I could get drug seizure cars dirt cheap, and I'd send them back to Minnesota, and then we'd refurb them, and then we'd resell them. So I just told him the truth, and he goes, drug seizure cars. And he starts looking in the car, and I go, oh, go ahead, look in the car. <laughs> I, you know. I don't have any drugs on me. And he says, uh, would you get out of the car? Puts me in the back seat of the squad, right? And he's on the radio calling in backup. All of a sudden, all these squads are showing up. And he goes, and I see this guy out there with this drug dog, right? And he says to me, he says, um, do we have permission to search the car with that drug dog? Or do we have to, we can get a warrant in about 15 minutes, but do we have your permission to do it? And I said, go right ahead. I said, I don't have drugs. I don't do drugs. Go right ahead. And he goes, okay. He gets out of the squad. And I started thinking about it. And I'm going, whoa, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, no. Get that dog away from that car. That car came out of Texas. It's a rental car. I picked it up at the Minneapolis airport. I don't know what's in the spare tire. I don't know what's stuffed under the carpet. I don't... I don't know what someone else used that car. There could be coke, coke dust all over the carpet. And I told him, you go right ahead. You go right ahead. Oh, I never sweat so bad in my life. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you do is answer their questions, offer no information. Don't 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 offer them to search or patch it out. No, no. Sty, Sty, did you tell them that you used to play in a band called ZZ Tuck? No. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Bye. 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 I, I, I gotta get. I gotta get out of here. Bye, Uncle Kevin. <laughs> and then there were four. And then there were four. four questions. Well, Die. Are you going to be at Kenyucopia? I know we're talking about the other adventure show, but I, side note. I really don't know. That's in March, correct? Yeah. Yeah. March, I, I really March, don't March. know because. I'm working on building enough resources to make an East Coast YouTube creator, meet all the creators kind of tour this summer. And that's going to cost a pretty penny. Um, I was going to go up to 
see Dennis uh, and you folks up in your neck of the woods, but I'm pulling my Sty Venture trailer with. We're talking about customs. Oh, they're going to love that thing. <laughs> the minute I hit the border, they're going to say, well, guess what? Open that trailer up and it's got all my bushcraft and gear, everything in it. Plus, I can't I can't carry any firearms into Canada. So, oh, so how will you survive? So I'm working with Dennis. We're trying to get that trip figured out where I'll come into upstate New York and find the central location there, a uh, national park or something, and I'll rent a few campsites and invite folks from Canada and the New York area to meet me in that central location or something. But, but um, yeah, I had other life's obligations that kind of tapped into my travel fund. So I'm trying to rebuild that travel fund for that. Plus I got to be in Chicago in June for a pepperheads convention down there. People that do all these pepper. Oh, uh, pepper yeah. Yeah. Um, everything spicy, crazy, and that whole bunch. Uh, they're going to be there. So, uh, Gil Skills will be there. Um, so, that's a seven, seven and a half hour drive for me to get to Chicago. So, I'm trying to work it in that when I go to Chicago, then from Chicago, I start on the Eastern Seaboard run. It'll be a month on the road, hitting all YouTubers between here and upstate Maine and all the way back. So we'll see, we'll see. I might get brave and say, oh, the heck with it. And I got friends in Pennsylvania I can leave my firearms with and I can jump over into Canada. And, no, and no, Sty, Sty drives a big uh, Ford uh, King, Ranch, King Ranch and he's yeah. gonna be pulling a trailer. So Sty needs gas money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I don't I eat like a bird, so really it's it's gas funds. <laughs> My old truck gets gets about thirteen miles a gallon, whether it's pulling a trailer or just sitting there idling. So it's it's a guarantee. It's thirteen miles a gallon. So so yeah, it's it's a fuel thing. Everybody tells me, well, why don't you get a cheaper running truck? And I said they don't come as plush as a King Ranch. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got saddle leather seats and, and yeah, no, that's pure comfort. That truck, I, I'll take the gas mileage. Yeah, I'm old. I like, to, <laughs> I like to be comfortable. Yeah. So, Christine, are you going to? You're, you're actually presenting, are you not at Canucopia? I am presenting this you year, the first time ever at Canucopia, and possibly the last time. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I managed to get some sponsorship to go. So. Uh, I'm speaking at 10.30 a.m. on the Saturday. I'm not sure what room, but uh, the schedule is going to be up very soon. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to to that because I've had a lot of American, you know, followers and stuff saying, are you coming? When are you coming? And so uh, hopefully someone comes to see me present and uh, oh, yeah. it goes well. If I get down that way, you bet you I'll be there. You bet you I'll be there to see your presentation. I. See, the thing is, for me, is I hate Madison. This is my home state, and I hate Madison with a passion. I hate that city. I hate, I, For 26 years, I was in Madison probably 15 times a year, right at Capitol Hill. Okay, you're going to be really excited to go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, there's nothing about Madison I like. I keep telling everybody I'm going to be staying up, up the highway at the Ho-Chunk Hotel and Casino, and I'll commute into the Canucovia, because I'm not staying down there. <laughs> but, but yeah, if I can work Thank it you. in by the by that uh, end of March, I'll, I'll I'll be down there. But if so, if I'm down there, Christina, you'll see me. I'll I'll find you. I'll find you. Right. And I have <laughs> no doubt I'll I'll be able to recognize you, Sty. <laughs> yeah, hard hard not to miss. I mean, anybody I'll, on that I'll make sure to go. Way. Hey, it's me, Sty. It's me, Sty. And what about you, Sean? Are you uh, attending? I think you said not you anymore. No, I I had put it in my plans. So actually, Christina and I were going to drive down together, uh, but unfortunately, I had to take that time off for some personal reasons. So, um, you limited uh, time off, and unfortunately, I had to cut back on something, and that was the thing that got cut, unfortunately. So, 
Um, I was there last year and had an absolute blast, an absolute blast. I mean, we all drove down overnight and uh, I think we pulled into Madison about three in the morning, got a few hours sleep, headed over for a couple good days of, of seeing the show and, and having some beverages in the evening. <coughs> and then uh, we all jumped in the car Sunday afternoon, drove all the way back to Toronto. And I think I pulled in at five o'clock in the morning. I did the old shave, shower, shampoo, and headed to work. Um, so it's a, it's quite the long, long four day weekend thing. But uh, yeah, I think next year we'll I'll, I'll be back again. Cool. I'm hoping to go. I uh, I'm trying to work out plans. It's uh, slow, slow, uh, slow going so far. But I really want to head out this year. But I don't want to go, obviously, just for one day. It's a hell of a long distance to go, so I wouldn't mind going and making a whole weekend of it. Mm -hmm. Well, we did it last year. Um, <laughs> uh, I got a, a check from work there, and uh, uh, I guess the Thursday. So I touched base with a few guys and said, listen, if I were to leave work at, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and drove over and picked him up, then we drove over to your house. And we all met there and jumped in the car and drove overnight. We could do this. Mm -hmm. And then if we left by 1 o'clock at the latest on Sunday afternoon, drove all the way home, we would all get home in time to get to work on Monday. And everybody said, hey, sounds like a plan. <laughs> How, how'd you make out? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Holy smokes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let me tell you, by by about nine o'clock the Monday night, I'd got my fifth wind at that point. And it was just like, I was just like, I'm not tired anymore. I need to oh, sleep wow. and I'm not tired anymore. And uh, yeah, just get to bed about midnight and it's like, okay, you've been up for 48 hours. Yeah, but I'm wide awake. <laughs> That's it. You get over that hump. Yeah. Uh, man, yeah. you're too tired to sleep. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's exactly it. And in, in, in comparison between the two shows, between this show and that show, obviously I know Canoe Copia is the largest in North America, but how big is that show? I've never been. It's big. Yeah. Um it's definitely <laughs> bigger. Yeah, it's it's definitely bigger than the uh, OAS. It definitely is. There's a lot more there's the thing I like about Canoe Copia is there's a lot of suppliers there of gear and everything that we don't see here in Canada. Right. Like you can buy it, but you don't see their full line. Is, like I can go to the Swift store and see all their canoes, but there's stuff down there that you cannot see all in one place. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and that, that's the bonus for going is you yeah. see everything. That's what I heard is, is it's not regional. I mean, it's, yeah. it's the, North American continent <laughs> that anything paddling related shows up. And so, so you're right, Sean, that, that's what I've heard from everybody. They keep telling me, get down there. You got to check it out because it's, it's like a huge sports show on acid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if there's any canoe or kayak <laughs> or stand up paddle board or anything you've ever wanted to try, it's going to be there. Yeah. And you'll be able to go check it out live and in person. Go, you know what? And then compare it with their other models. Talk to the people that actually sell it. You know, yeah. uh, one of my big things was Cocapelli pack rafts. I've, I've been looking at these and looking at these, but they had their booth. I got to talk to the guys, chit chat with them. Uh, we actually went out drinking that night and uh, talked about them and stuff like that. <laughs> um, you get to sit in them, see how they all work. They can give you all the little tips and tricks. And, you know, any other questions, you, you got a personal email just to, send their way and say, hey, listen, I was thinking about this, that, this, yep, this is what you do, this is what you do, that sort of thing. But it is all under one roof. And it's yeah. really cool. And there's even stuff that you'd never thought of before that that you see there. Hmm. Very good. But definitely I, worth going. I forgot whose channel I was on. Had the wrong background. Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you moved that, really man. fast Sorry. Here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We uh we're actually on track tonight there for uh my my allotted uh show time. 
It's yep. uh, eight fifty-five, and uh, I think tonight's uh, gone rather well after uh, a few oh, hiccups yeah. there at the beginning. But uh, I think things went well, Christine. You know, I, I appreciate you uh, popping on tonight, and really giving me a hand. It's uh, a and so he freezes, right? <laughs> Well, well, he's froze. Apparently, that was just two hours. <laughs> I was gonna, say, I was gonna say, he must sorry, have sorry, two hours and he froze my, up. my computer froze up there for a second. These things See, happen. My my whole night has been like that, Dennis. I probably only heard about forty percent of what's been going on, so I'm just uh, kind of like, yeah, okay. Smiling nods. Sorry, everyone. I apologize. Yeah. But we're, we're going to get ready to wrap things up here. Uh, so just we're going to give another quick briefing here on the show. So it's uh, the uh, Outdoor Adventure Show taking place in Toronto on February 21st, 22nd, 23rd of 2020. Uh, come on out. You can get tickets for 10 bucks online if you use the coupon code that I have in the description below. So check out the video or after this uh, live stream, check out the description below. All the information on the show is there. Uh, be sure to check out Camper Christina if you haven't already this way. <laughs> Camper Christina, if you haven't already done so. Some fantastic uh, episodes on her YouTube channel. What do you have coming up on your channel, Christina? What do I have coming up on my channel? Uh, solo winter trip I just did in a snowstorm. That's coming up this week. And uh, I just did a trip last weekend with Sue, which was amazing. We had such a good time, Cora. There's lots of silliness going on. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of, uh, some, some new Camper Christina Cooks, um, videos coming up oh, that cool. I've been kind of throwing away for, for show season. So good that job. should be pretty uh, good. Yeah. There's one thing I love about your videos is some of the meals you eat on that. That's, uh, that's awesome. Keep up the good work. Yeah. You, yeah. You see the produce, Size right? of food nut. So yeah, anytime the you post either. something food related, boom, I'm right over there. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm a food <laughs> nice. Yeah. And Sean, how about yourself? What can we expect in the uh, near future on Paddling Adventures Radio? Uh, actually, this week we've got, uh, like I said, our, our podcast comes out every Thursday morning. Um, this week we've actually got John Van Berger, our uh, U.S. fellow there from, from Wisconsin. And oh. he has a company, Outdoors, um, uh, the Outdoor Kind. And they raise funds for first responders, stuff like that. And he's actually talking about where some of the funds go to who who some of the, they're donating some of the funds to, and I know he's going to be talking about um, he's got the Yukon Journey coming up. He's doing that again this year, so he's got a few things yeah. going. Uh, so th this this week's show is going to be all about John. I uh, you know what I was trying to book John in here for within the next uh, short while there. <laughs> yeah, we had the book for April. <laughs> yeah, he's a busy fella. He's busy because yeah. he's got his Yukon adventure coming up too, right? So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He's got a, he's got a few things uh, going on, and uh, well into the the end of the the summer. So yeah. if you don't get them now, you're not getting them till September. Yeah, and Sty North, uh, I understand you're approaching three thousand subscribers. Yep, and you know. Yeah, I, wow. I'm like 26 away, 26 away from the 3K. But nice. I always say it's not the numbers, it's the folks, you know. It's the, the people, people that have to so those If anybody numbers, in the chat you know? hasn't already it, got uh, Sty North, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. Uh, if you're interested in his content, <laughs> please do subscribe. Otherwise, it's not really worth anything if, you just, if you're just a number, right? So, yeah, yeah. this guy down, down here. I hate and this opposite thing here, right? If I can, if I, if, if I can more than the, if I can more than getting more followers, I just like to let folks know. Starting this Saturday, February first, yep. um, I'm starting a new stream series where I'm going to be streaming twice a month, the first Saturday and third Saturday of every month, and the new stream series is called Into the Outdoors with Sty North, and it's strictly outdoor topics all across the board um it, it camp cooking hiking camping canoeing kayaking name it if it's outdoors if it's going in your backyard and roasting a marshmallow we'll talk about it it's just those, those streams are going to be two hour long streams twice a month and it's going to be strictly outdoor topics so i'd invite anybody that wants to talk the outdoors to show on up to 
into the outdoors with Stye North. So there you go. Thank, and everybody, I've had a few people in the stream here. tonight ask what was on the bottom of my cup, and it's actually a Stye North logo. So here's to you, Stye. Look at what I did. <laughs> uh, nice. I've actually oh, got okay. his cup. So, guys and gals and Paddling Adventure Radios, where's yours, Christina? <laughs> this so is the, the, the Adventures Alive. Anyway, mm -hmm. so uh, don't forget, everybody, check out uh, the Outdoor Adventure Show. I will oh, personally be there on Saturday. There you go. There you oh. go. There you go. You should have had your, your, your lady canoe one there. The lady portage or shirt that you have, and we could have been a matching. There you go. There you that go. I thought was awesome. That I thought was awesome. You know, <laughs> Stye is all linked up. Works good in a pinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good stuff. So um, oh, just a reminder: oh, yeah. Tuesday, February fourth, I have Mark Rubino on the show. Uh, he's the uh, he he's he's the main focus on a show called Mark in the Park, which takes place in Algonquin Park. They're gearing up for their second season. And that's put out by Rogers Television, but you can also find the episodes on here on YouTube. So check them out. It's a very entertaining series. I'm sure you've watched it, Sean. And I've been I've been canoe tripping with Marcus for 15 years. Yeah. And we have a blast. And he, you know what? If anybody knows Algonquin, it is Marcus. Very yeah, you very definitely, definitely want to check this 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 series out. Yeah, so check check it out. That's on February fourth. He'll be a guest on the show. As I mentioned earlier, I will not be having a show on February eleventh. The wife is forcing me to go to Dominican Republic. Oh, she oh, had to force hard, didn't she? <laughs> oh darn! Uh, just want to thank everybody for joining in and watching tonight. Your support's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you'll know when we are live every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook for more information. That's a great thing. Christina, Sean, Stye, and of course, uh, Kevin, and I just met him tonight. Um, Preston. 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 Sorry about that if you're listening, Preston. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, coming on panel. I appreciate everybody in the chat. And I uh, hope to see you next week. And remember, people, keep the adventures alive. Sweet dreams, everybody. Have a good night. See you then, Dennis. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs> yep.